Thank you for visiting Best Bible Commentaries. In this video, I would like to show you what many consider to be one of the best, if not the best, Hebrews commentaries available today. It consists of two volumes, Hebrews 1 through 8 and Hebrews 9 through 13. Um, and William L. Lane is the author of both volumes. Lane taught at Gordon Conwell as well as Seattle Pacific, and I think he taught at a few other schools in his um, in his ministry career. These volumes were published in the early 90s, but still, um, 25 years later, almost 30 years later, um, they are still very highly rated and very well reviewed and at the top of many people's lists when it comes to best commentaries on Hebrews. This series was published for many years by Thomas Nelson. Um, Zondervan uh, took up the series uh, a few years ago and has uh, kept it active. There are new volumes uh, coming out, or updated volumes still being released in 2019, 2020, and beyond. Um, to my knowledge, the Hebrews volumes aren't scheduled to be updated, but there are some others uh, that are scheduled to be updated. If you're not familiar with this series, it's a great series for, for pastors. It's not overly technical. Most writers in this series will interact with uh, recent scholarship and, as well as the original Greek language. Um, but most of the technical footnote, technical um, discussion is found in, in the notes section. So um, past, some pastors might not find that as helpful, but, um, but it is there if, if, uh, professors and, and teachers are, are interested in it. Each passage of scripture is discussed under the same headings in the WBC commentaries. So this passage is Hebrews 1, 1 through 4, and there's four sections. We have the well, there's the, the bibliography is actually uh, listed first. And then the author's own translation of the verses comes next, followed by some notes. And then every passage is, is divided into these three sections that most readers spend most of their time on. The first is form, structure, setting. That's just the first section, form, structure, setting, followed by comment or commentary and then third is the explanation section um, in in my preaching experience when I have utilized WBC commentaries um, as a preacher I have spent more time in the second and third sections the comment section and the explanation section the form structure setting um, and the footnotes and the bibliography are would probably be most helpful to professors and academics and scholars, although uh, sometimes in the form structure setting uh, section, uh, there'll be some useful material for understanding the, uh, the big picture of the text. Uh, WBC commentaries are kind of known for, they kind of have a little bit of a reputation for being, um, the reputation is that it's kind of hard to find something if you're just, uh, need to look something up. So you're using it more as a reference work and you're looking up an explanation to a verse and that explanation might be spread out over three different sections and some people find that to be um, not very helpful. Um, the New Testament scholar D.A. Carson quipped one time that uh, trying to find something in a WBC commentary is challenging to a person's sanctification, meaning it leads to frustration sometimes. And, and I, I, think, I think it was a joke. Um, I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, but I, I actually don't think it's, it's, it's that bad. Um, I, I've found that um, uh, reading all three sections can be helpful and um, the information is fairly well organized. For example, Hebrews chapter 1 again, verse 3a. Um, here's the Greek phrase, and then 
the explanation. The verses are in bold, 3b, 3c, uh, and so on. So I don't think it's that hard to find information in these. And I think with this particular volume and some of the other very well-reviewed volumes in this series, it is worth it. If you have to hunt for an extra 30 seconds or a minute to find the material, even in Lane's um, getting his insights, it's it's worth the hunt. Um, it, you might not agree with everything, every single conclusion or that he comes to, um, but these volumes will definitely help a reader think through uh, the book of Hebrews. So I hope you enjoyed this, um, this visual demonstration of uh, what many consider to be one of the best, if not the best, commentaries on the book of Hebrews. Thank you for visiting Best Bible Commentaries.